My name is Ryan Green. I'm a producer, engineer, mixer. I work on records. I produce, I engineer, I mix records. I've been fortunate enough to work on a lot of very, very talented artists. Patti LaBelle and Gladys Knight, Megadeth, Alice Cooper, Lita Ford, No Effects, Gladwagon, Jay Z, Guitar Hero 3 through 7, Rock Band. People like bringing me into a project because my approach is not going to be normal, ever. <laughs> Drums are the foundation. You can't build a house on a crooked foundation. Alt Drums is an idea I came up with when I was doing all the punk rock records actually here at Motor Studios. Listening to a lot of the drum sample libraries out there, there was never anything for me that was a little bit more alternative. I don't want my bands to sound like somebody else. I want them to be original. My concept was getting drums that nobody has ever really recorded in the way that I wanted to do them. I'm not interested in making that Beatles drum kit sound like a Beatles drum kit. What would happen if the Beatles were Motley Crue? This is a Beatles kit, but this is the, the rock version of it. I'm gonna take that drum kit and do something completely different with it that nobody has ever heard. This could be used on a punk rock or an alternative rock project, or you could turn around and probably use it on a country project or a metal project. So we wanted to make sure that some of the beats on this library would kind of also twist people's heads around a little bit and maybe open up their minds to something a little bit different. I programmed reverb settings, also distortion settings, all these tools to be able to play around with and be able to get pretty much everything that you're gonna need inside the box. You could actually hear the kick and the snare and know exactly what you want to do with them. My name is Jacob Dennis. I'm the product manager for All Drums. Essentially, it's three different drum kits per pack. Each of those drum kits has an additional snare drum. The producer kits are the kits that Ryan's gone through and added additional processing through with compression and reverb. And then there's preset kits. They sound like what they sound like, no additional processing, reverbs, and stuff like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is just open up a blank reason session, create a combinator. Go over here and I'll load up one of our drum kits. And I have a lot of different options. The dry version is just the direct mics on the kit. The overhead version are the direct mics with overheads and the room versions are direct mics with overhead and room mics. So I'm going to load up the pork pie kit with room, so all of the mics. Now right out of the gate, once you load up one of these producer kits, you've already loaded an entire drum kit, so if you have a MIDI controller or anything plugged in, you should be able to just, you know, start, you know, programming and you're ready to go. I have an NNXT sampler for each of the kit pieces. Let's say you pull up the pork pie kit but you really like the snare drum from a different kit. You know, it's just as easy as going to the snare and an XT, loading up from the individual kit pieces and choosing a different snare drum. Now I have uh, some effects devices that are easy to manage by the combinator controls. So you have a short and a long reverb, a spread, which is a stereo imager, and a master compressor. For the reverbs, there's an on and off button for each. And the short is going to give you more of, you know, that impact. And then your long is going to be more of your tail. So by running two reverbs and having a short and a long, you can essentially control, you know, your impact versus your tail and kind of manipulate it that way instead of just using one reverb and trying to find a balance. And then there's this other button, the skull and crossbones on it, that'll engage the screen player and basically destroy your drum kit. Scream 4 is absolutely incredible. I haven't heard anything that sounds like that on all the programs I've worked on. And that kind of goes back to probably what I learned working in the, in the punk rock world. You know, it's not always the best sound, it's about the right sound.
Aside from all the drum kit samples that come in, there's also some sequencer material in a few different genres split up by BPM that they were recorded at. They have a definite feel to them. Let's go ahead and load up a, a MIDI file. You can just hit play and go. A whole song starting with intro into verse, you know, chorus, verse, bridge, section, and outros almost on every MIDI file that we have. But not only that, we already have them pre-split up. So if you want to go ahead and customize and build your own songs, grab, you know, the chorus from this one, a bridge from this one, and put them together and create something completely unique. It's such a great thing to, to have feels already laid out that will inspire you to do something. They just have a certain quality and a certain feel that makes you want to do something. Anything that inspires somebody to want to write is important. And there's enough on this library that you could probably use it for years and never ever come back to the same sound. These samples are what you hear on your own is what they sound like in the music. So you could layer 12 layers of guitars on these kick drums and snare drums. The size of them will never go away. But that's what the whole library is for. It's when somebody hears it and starts working with it and really understands and gets it, they are going to be inspired to write and, and hopefully write something good.